Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Uh, I was planning on only doing two, but I was asked to do one more review, and I was asked to test uh, a vast free. I went online and downloaded the newest version. It's uh, 37 megabytes, not a bad download. Version 4.8, uh, 1356. So let's get started here. Let's uh, get on with the install. Um, I'd like to keep this review to one video, so I'm just kind of going to go through it pretty quick. It's a fairly simple installer. We'll install a typical thing, and um, I'm going to pause the video while this is doing its thing, and if anything pops up, I'll uh, restart the video. See you in a second. Okay, uh, one quick thing here. Uh, when you install, it asks you if you want to schedule a boot time scan. If this is on a machine that might be compromised, I definitely would do that, but because this is a clean machine, I am not going to do that and it's going to ask me to restart so I will be back after the restart. See you in a second. Okay so it's restarted here. Uh, we got a little wel welcome uh, to the fast uh, screen. Let's uh, everything so we're going to leave everything on normal here. We will once again double check for updates for everything to make sure it's as updated as it can possibly be as you can see it is. So let's uh, get started with the uh, links here. See what it can do. Now if you watch uh, the uh, GData or the Icarus video these are the same links and there you go caught the first one. So even if we run it, it shouldn't work. I know the second one doesn't work. I think these couple of ones at the top don't work either. Yeah, these are the two bin files at the top, so we'll skip down. Okay, this one's going to take a little bit to install. That's a DLL. That's just a part of a program. That one doesn't work. We'll just go down here. I have a lot of them that didn't work, I guess, this time. And that one was found as a dropper, so we'll abort connection. be dead. We will, oh, there we go. It does work. We'll run this one. Looks like uh, this one's once and this one's going to install just fine. We'll run this one. We'll just keep going here. And I think we definitely got some stuff c coming by, going right through it. As you can see, it's uh, not making a peep on any of these files. Oh, there you go. It did block that one, as you can see. So that's good. I think this last one didn't work either. Oh, no. It blocked access to it. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect from the net because uh, there's a lot of internet activity. And uh, I'm going to cancel that, whatever that is. And I want to do a full scan here. We're going to let it scan the memory here and the startup. Okay, so let's do a we'll do a full scan. We won't scan the archives because there's no point. There's no archives right now to mess with. Well, you know what? We'll do that anyway because it shouldn't take much longer. And we will start the scan here. So um, I will pause the video and I'll be back when the scanner's done doing its thing. See you when it's done. 
Okay, during the scan here, it did actually catch a hidden process, a rootkit, I guess, um, using a heuristic method. So we will uh, delete now. And uh, I'm not going to do it. I don't want to restart it, even though it wants me to. I'm just going to wait for it to complete its scan and then restart it. And it should delete it on restart. So I'll be back. OK, so other than that rootkit file, it said it only found, it found nothing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to restart the computer. And then I'm going to get uh, Malwarebytes and uh, install it and check it out. See you when this is done restarting. OK, um, I uh, restarted the computer, and I got a little uh, thing here from Windows Firewall. It uh, wants to block this, so we'll keep blocking that. We'll cancel that. And here's Malwarebytes. We'll do an install. Uh, I have to reconnect to the net, because I have the uh, um, networking card disconnected here. So let me reconnect here. Try to get rid of some of these things. Okay, it's updated. I'll disconnect again from the net and I will do a quick scan. So uh, I'm going to pause this while it's scanning and I'll be back. Okay, so Malwarebytes finished scanning. Let's check out see what it found. Okay, we got something to temporary internet files, that's fine. We got a malware trace, registry key, temp files, Trojan downloader, a lot of Trojan downloader stuff, uh, fake alert stuff, a couple of registry keys, fraud pack, and uh, some worm stuff in the registry. So it didn't do bad, but it didn't do great either. As you see, it did miss some stuff. Um, heuristics caught that rootkit, or, what, or whatever it thought it was a rootkit. So could have been better in my opinion but I could have done a lot worse um, for a free piece of software it's not bad at all um, version 5 is coming sometime soon I think in a, in a month or two or something like that so I'd definitely like to give that a try uh, I heard it's got a couple of extra features in it so um, that does it for my Avast review and I'm going to upload these to YouTube and um, I'll talk to you guys later.